Claude Monet, a prolific French artist from the mid-1800s to the early 1900s, was one of the most influential artists of all time and is well known for being the driving force behind the Impressionist movement. His trademark style, however, was not always as it is seen in his most famous works. Monet's personal style developed very much throughout his lifetime. Raised in Le Havre, France, Monet began drawing and painting at an early age. This is an example of one of those drawings. It is a charcoal caricature of Adolphe Victor Coesme and follows his style at an early age. Monet would sell these caricatures for up to 20 francs. An important moment in the development of Monet was his meeting and befriending of Eugene Boudin, a famous landscape painter. Boudin encouraged Monet to paint outside, introducing him to the plein air technique. This opened Monet's eyes to the possibilities of art and would become very important to him later in life. This is Farmyard in Normandy, an early work of his. You can see how he has not yet developed the Impressionist style that became synonymous with him. Here is a rare work that Monet painted while in Paris called A Corner of the Studio. The painting takes place inside, which was unusual for Monet and something he would only rarely do in the future. He much preferred the outdoors for painting, following the plein air style he learned from Boudin. This painting is more focused on the subject rather than the light and colors. Monet lived for a time in Argentou, on the Seine River, where he grew very skilled at landscape paintings, his forte, and also studied light and color. In this painting, called Argentou Red Boats, he shows a typical day on the river. The difference between this and the previous painting is already noticeable, as he uses dabs and dashes to create the effect between the light and the color of the work. While Monet initially attempted to make his name as a traditional artist by attempting to gain access to the Salon of Paris, efforts such as Woman in the Garden, seen here, were denied access despite the artist's obvious skill. This led Monet and several other artists, such as Renoir, Degas, and Pissarro, to break off and form their own exhibitions. This marked the true beginning of the Impressionist movement. You can see in this work the typical light, short brushstrokes in the leaves of the trees, as well as the use of light as the subject. The work is very focused on light, with the woman merely filling the canvas. Arguably his most famous work, Impression Sunrise, exemplified the Impressionist movement so much that the movement took its name after the work. Influenced heavily by industrialization, the work shows the sunrise over a smoggy London. Monet's classic brushstrokes are very evident in this painting, giving the masterpiece a polluted look that adds to the Impressionist style. The death of Monet's wife, Camille, was very significant to him. In this painting, he portrays her with very dark colors, using the strong brushstrokes he is so adept with. The work has similarities with Impression Sunrise in terms of its appearance, and both use light very well, as most Monet paintings do. Here is an uncharacteristic still life by Monet, called Apples and Grapes. Despite his change of subject, the ideas are still the same. The use of light is significant in this painting, and he uses similar colors to both the previous works. This was painted shortly after Camille's death, and you can feel the more somber mood of the work. Monet's style changed frequently throughout his life. Here he shows another change. This is Alice hosted in the garden. Alice was his new wife, and his renewed happiness is seen in the colors he chooses. The previous three works emphasized gray, but this marks a return to bright greens, blues, and reds. Monet even focuses less on the subject in this painting than previously. His works are getting more and more abstract as he focuses in on light and color as his subjects. Monet was well known for his serious paintings, in which he would paint several of the same subject at different times of the day or year. This changed the lighting and color of the work, which as we, know, as we know by now are Monet's chief focus. Haystacks is a famous series of his. In these two paintings shown here, you can see how they are entirely different due to the different lighting that each encounters. The actual haystacks are the same, but the subject of the painting is not. Another series of his, the Rue Cathedral, was a favorite topic of Monet's. However, Monet does not actually care about the cathedral in his work. He is more interested in how the light reflects off the cathedral. He uses dark reds and oranges to catch the unseen sunset on the building. His work is also becoming more obscure, allowing the viewer to focus on things other than the objects in the works. One of Monet's most famous series, and one that he is very recognized for, is his water lilies. 
painted at his house in Giverny, where he would spend the last couple of decades of his life. The lilies exemplify what Monet was trying to capture in his work. Monet created a special Japanese garden just for painting, and that is where these iconic works come from. Later in his life, Monet would begin to develop cataracts over his eyes, which affected his painting. The cataracts led him to start using a lot more red tones in his works, as seen in this work. It is also evident that his eyesight is deteriorating, as his painting of the Japanese bridge in his garden is nearly indistinguishable. This would become common until the end of his life. Monet's development as an artist is very easy to see. The difference between his works as a young man and those as an older gentleman could not be farther apart. He learned to appreciate light and color, as opposed to being stuck in the objects of art, and thus was able to drive the Impressionist movement into mainstream and into history. He is undoubtedly one of the most important artists of all time. From the moment I saw a Monet painting, I was immediately struck by how he captured the essence of the painting with his trademark brushstrokes. Ever since then, I have always been fascinated by Monet, and I partially attribute my interest in art to his works. He is undoubtedly my favorite artist, and I hope you learned something in this podcast. Thank you.